just want to say hello. You gonna say hello to everyone, Babas? Yeah, say hello. Oh, hi! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, come here. Put this on. I know. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate the help. Oh my god, look at you go. But how am I supposed to do that when you're moving? Huh? You're moving all around. <laughs> Okay, come here so I can fix it. Come here. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, sit. Can I? Oh my goodness! Hold on. Okay, can we sit? Can we sit? And can I have your paw? <gasps> Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to a new vlog. How are you guys doing this morning? Sorry, it's gonna be backlit for a second. How are you guys doing this morning? I know it's been a bit uh, after the trip to Arizona. So it's gonna get dark. Hold on, bubby. After the trip from Arizona, I just kind of like took some time to um, kind of refocus. And I ordered some things, I got some things to kind of invest in, in my life and where I'm actually headed. And I feel so much different about my life and the decisions I'm making because I just have this like feeling. I have this like, deep-seated feeling that is being more attracted to who I'm supposed to be as a human and it's a beautiful feeling so welcome to today's vlog I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog um, I'm gonna take you guys around I'm gonna go to the coffee shop for the first time and god knows how fucking long because for one I didn't have a laptop that worked my MacBook that I <laughs> my MacBook that I previously had was from the first session of college I went to in 2000 15 and it was a 2013 um macbook so you can only imagine right things just don't flow it so i wanted to bring to you guys the newest addition to the family the newest addition to the family is the thing that it took me a few minutes to decide okay like an hour to decide whether or not if i wanted a laptop or if i wanted this so um I took some time and I like really analyzed what I'm gonna do in the near future and what's more convenient for myself. Price didn't matter at the at that point. It didn't matter about the price because they're kind of like roughly the same, around the same. So I wasn't worried about that. I was worried about can I edit videos on it? Can I do what I'm needing to do on this? And can I travel? And is it convenient? Can I go to coffee shops finally? You know all these things. What's the charge? Which you know all you know all, all the all the deets. So. Welcome to the family, my newest addition, this baby right here. This is the iPad Pro, or iPad Air, my bad. And uh, I got the keyboard with it, so, and the pen of course, but this is the iPad, this is the iPad Air, and uh, I'm in love with it. I've been using it for like a week, nonstop. I love the way that it just, keeps me productive, it's creative, I love it. I can take it off this and use the pen and like draw or like write or create. And uh, it's very compact, it's very small. Uh, I didn't want the bigger one because we already have the bigger one, but it's just too big for travel. So, uh, which is so funny because we already have one of these. Um, I just didn't want to get a huge situation when, you know, I'm gonna be seeing myself going different places and I want it to be more compact and what it needs to do and it's the 256 gig I do have a hard drive that attaches to it so there's just like all these little things that I really wanted to focus on to see whether or not this was the right fit but it is so welcome my new gadget I am obsessed with gadgets if you guys always like if you know me you'll understand where my money goes it's never in like a lot of clothes or things. It's always in gadgets because I have so many and I love it so much. It's like obsession. But this is the newest edition. I love it tremendously. I write my podcast episodes on it. I edit a lot of videos on this, which was huge for me. So all my vlogs can be edited on this. Um, the process is very simple. It's not, you know, difficult. It handles it really well. I'm not shooting like, you know, cinematic 4K. 8k things anymore sorry i'm behind the times here so here's the newest addition to the family i love it and now 
um, I can go to the coffee shop. But I was waiting. Oh, sorry. There's some things in here. Notifications. I was waiting. What was I waiting for? What was I doing? I'm clearly waiting for nothing. Oh. Um, I was waiting at the coffee shop until I got this. Sorry, AC just turned on. Okay, I'm gonna head out. I'm, I'm gonna go get my nails filled. Nose are atrocious right now. So our morning routine is that you have to pause, okay? You gotta wait. 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 Wait, Bubba. Ah, 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 wait. Okay, come here. Bubba, come here. Okay, wait. Good job. Okay, go ahead. I put him on a lead uh, so that he can go do his business by himself. We don't, we're not fenced in. So, um, I just put him on a lead for a little bit. It's, he tangles up and then he gets stuck in the bushes and it's just so funny because he tries to get out. But I let him hang out. We have this big freaking yard. I was tanning yesterday and I had to empty that pool, but um, we have this big freaking yard and only partial fenced from that house that is just a trash house. I'm not, not trying to be rude, but they are not keeping up. They just moved in and it's irritating. <laughs> Look how big that is. Anyway, beside the point, you do you. Uh, <laughs> but we have this like big old yard, but it's not fenced in so he can't run free. I mean, you know, so. We keep him on his little lead so he can go do his business by himself. Don't eat something bad. Mom's gonna start her breakfast. So I let him out there for a few uh, minutes alone because he doesn't like pooping in front of you. It's very considerate, I love it. Um, the kid left yesterday to his mom's house. So now it is the week of catching up is what I like to call it. Just a nice week of catching up. So, I'm gonna turn on the grill. And, oh, I wanna show you my outfit, but uh, I don't have a full length mirror that isn't scattered with paint on it, so you can't really tell. But anyway, the shirt is from Shein. These pants, these adorable black pants are from Madewell. And um, I just really wanted to share that because I've never tried Madewell jeans before. And I really, really love them. I'm kind of obsessed with them. They really just suck you in. And here's a tip. Made belt jeans are very expensive. You know, more than they should be. But they are worth it. I would check. Um, I would check to see if Thread Up has it first. That's where these came from. They're like brand freaking new. Never really worn. Just beautiful, beautiful condition. Um, I got them for like 20 bucks. So I'm just, I'm letting you know. Check Madewell, see if they have your size. I mean, sorry, check Thread Up to see if they have your size. Other than that, you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna have three egg whites and a regular egg. That's my breakfast normally. Um, that's what I do. I need to get a bowl. Mix it up for you. I also use tortillas for breakfast. I switch up my breakfast now and now and again. Sorry, it's so it's dark out. Like, what what do we do? My tripod is legitimately in the car. <sighs> the dishes are just piling up. You know, it's just a it's a Tuesday, but it's like my Monday, so it's pretty pretty fun. Well, they're all clean though. So honestly, the end of the day. This coconut oil spray. I don't know if it's gonna load up or not. I use this coconut spray I get from Walmart. I 
spray the tortilla so I can cook. I know this is such a weird way to do your eggs, but it makes sense to me for right now to do them this way. So sorry how dark it is. Uh, we're trying to keep the house cool, so we're keeping all the blinds down. But I turned off the heat and I kind of just let it sit here for a sec because I like a, a more medium, sorry, a more medium egg. Um, it's just kind of what I'm feeling lately. I also just drowse it in Valentina sauce. Um, that's kind of the gist of the morning. I'm more of on a calmer mood. I went to the gym this morning been a while since I've, I've lifted weights so my my energy is kind of low at the current moment nothing crazy it'll get better once I eat I made up my Celsius drink if you guys are new here I drink Celsius powder I used to drink Celsius's like the canned Celsius but the uh, carbonation hurts my stomach and I suffer from irritable bowel syndrome which is IBS I just want to start eliminating things that are, you know, swelling up my, my little intestines, poor things. So I'm just taking things out. Celsius, I love them so much, like I have to drink them. It's an addiction, it's like caffeine, literally, it's caffeine. But like coffee and, and matchas or, you know, things that other people are obsessed with. I get this one from Walmart, it's the dragon fruit lime flavor. I'll let this slow down for a second, it's gonna take a second. Dragon fruit lime flavor. I have two of these a day. Are you ready to come in, Bubs? Watch, I gotta show you something. Let me show you something real quick. Bye-bye. Are you ready to come inside? He <laughs> his little head. Are you ready to come inside, baby? Okay. You like, um... Hi, my love. What he does is he opens the door to let me know. Good boy, good job. Did you go potty potty? Did you go potty potty? But he'll do that. And it's the cutest little thing because you'll just see his head pop. You'll just see his head pop right on in. Sorry. Okay, back to what I was saying. The Celsius. Um, I have two of these a day. They are just powdered sticks. I can show you guys. They are just sticks like this. That our powder and you just put them in with a 16 ounce cup of water and I have to drink these extremely cold so here's a tip for you cold water filtered please uh, cold filtered water with ice cubes shake it up you can mix it up whatever you have convenient for you and it is phenomenal now if you don't like Celsius I don't recommend it because you won't like it like my boyfriend doesn't like the taste of it and I was like oh my god you're lying I love the taste of this. It's so good. But everyone that's been watching knows Celsius is my is my shit. I also been getting back into my tea intake because tea is kind of like my saving grace. I do love coffee so much, but um, the acidity is is hurting my tummy and it's making me very nauseous most days. So I'm kind of just laying low until I can figure out a less acidic 
coffee blend that I can actually get from Nespresso because I have an espresso maker. So before that, I mean, it is what it is, but um, I used to drink coffee every single day before that. So it was like my, my guilty pleasure. If you go on my Instagram, you'll see all of the coffee I've drank. I'm just switching over to teas. And so I started making Earl Grey, um, well, tea lattes, which is London Fog or a Northwest Fog or whatever you want to call it. But it's essentially Earl Grey tea brewed and either almond milk or regular milk, which is mine's almond, uh, frothed with vanilla syrup. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it's the best thing that's ever happened to this planet. <laughs> it is so freaking good. Uh, my tortillas are always super crispy. Like, it's like a tostada at this point. And uh, what I do is I'll put the egg whites on. At this point, I usually have avocado and stuff, so it's more full, but I'll put that on. And then I'll grab my egg and uh, puncture the egg. I don't know, this is, it's been sitting for a while, so I might have to puncture the top. Luckily I got these nails. I'll puncture it. And what I'll do, what I do, I know this is such a weird thing to do, but I'll puncture at the top and I'll kind of just flip it and drizzle it on <laughs> so that all my eggs get it. I don't know why. I don't, I know. You can easily just chop it up, but it's just something I do in the morning. Top it with some Valentina. Maybe, if it wants to come out, just top it. I eat so much of this, so I don't really care much of this. And then, voila, you've got a low fat breakfast. The carbs are, of course, a little higher because of the tortilla, but they're carb balanced tortillas, but still, that's. 19 grams of carbs for breakfast so you know it is what it is i'm gonna enjoy this and then we'll head out to the coffee shop okay this is such a simple but yet delicious little breakfast because i crisp up this tortilla like no one's business it's like a chip it's like a reward and then that valentina sauce mixed with the egg yolk is so fucking good Valentina sauce is not spicy. It's just flavorful. It's, it has no literal spice to it. It's not like, <gasps> it's so hot. So if you're worried about it being spicy, just try it out. Give it a shot. Buy a little one. It's like a dollar. And uh, just give it a shot. I tried to make like tomato and mods and I'm gonna just eat it with bread for lunch. This is fresh from Awesome Farms, the produce and the bread appointments today. The nails have been snatched and her skin is dressed. How pretty this lighting is. It is so I'm trying to figure out whether or not I'm gonna get my nails done first and I go to the coffee shop because these nails are so long and I need to do a lot of typing today, but they don't open until 9.30 and it's 8.17. Oh, I was hoping to go to Target, but I think Target doesn't open until nine. So I need to make sure, but I wanna grab my backpack from my closet here. Um, I think I don't want to take my backpack with me today. This is um, a travel bag that I used for, almost said Chicago, for Arizona. I bought it off of Amazon. I do want to talk to you guys about this because this is such a good little piece. Let me um, unzoom you because I zoomed you. This is called Love Vook. L-O-V-E-V-O-O-K. Love Vook. And uh, I was skeptical to buy this because it was only like 20 bucks. But um, I am in love with this thing because not only, did, let me grab my suitcase. I know you guys don't probably care right now, but I'm just going to show you a little travel tips for me that I'm learning as I'm going. So this is my suitcase. It's just a carry on black suitcase I got from Amazon. And uh, this is the coolest part of this backpack is you can just attach it to your carry-on like this as your personal item so it's like this and uh it's very sturdy i used it all the way in arizona and i went on so many flights and it's very maneuverable but beside the point um this guy is legitimately so sturdy it has these wire bars in it up here 
to keep this not so like squished and flat. I don't know, it's really nice. There's a million pockets in this. Like, what is in here even? Oh, there's my sunglasses. I always hate leaving him. It's so sad, but it's also gonna be like 97 degrees and he can't go to the freaking coffee shop with me, so. I love you, bye -bye. have a good day. I'll see you in a little. I know, it's gonna be 90 degrees and I'm wearing fucking black jeans. Well, in my life, this is who I am. We're gonna head to Target. See if we can find a USB C. Um, see if we can find a USB C before we head to the coffee shop. And then, well, actually, yeah. I was gonna go get my nails done, but honestly, I'm just gonna. See, I shouldn't wait, but I'm gonna wait. Ugh. It is what it is. Because I want to type a lot today. I can type with this. It's not a big deal. It's just they're growing out and they are starting to like ache a little bit. It's either get them took off. If it's cheaper to get them taken off than a fill, then that's what I'm going to do. Um, but it is what it is. You know? Time to put on the jam. Sorry. Oh my god. I forgot to tell you guys. I know this is such a weird... Here, let me... Why this cools down. Um... Wow, that changed the lighting tremendously. All right, okay. We went hiking the other day. Actually, it was Sunday to be exact. We went hiking and uh, you know where you park and stuff. Well, after we got done with this treacherous hike, we came down and Jesse's like, oh my God, there's a Defender. Wanna go peek at it? I was like, wait, what? Cause I've only seen Defenders like past me or like on the internet and like looking so sexy, so fine. And so I was like, yeah, 100%. I go up to it. I'm just like, made sure no one's in it because that's really weird. And sorry if you're the owner of the Defender I was looking at at uh, Eagle Creek. But it was gorgeous. Oh, my God. The interior, luxurious. The outer, the shine. It was calling my name. That's my dream car. That's going to happen. I already know it's going to happen probably next year. It's going to happen. And, uh... I'm just like, holy crap, I just fell more in love with it. I should have not saw it in person. <laughs> anyway, little, little tidbit. All right, I'm gonna put on a playlist. Playlist, I'm gonna put on a song. I don't know what song we gonna put on today. Are we feeling like bad bitch sad? Or bad bitch hood? You know what I mean? So it's either Russ or it's Jesse Murph. So I think Jesse Murph is such a good fucking song. Listen to this one. Well, the rest of your life would have taken the cocaine off your lips if I could buy no from your face. Ah. Oh no, that bitch had a screw loose. Could have had all this woo-woo. Now you can fuck with the voodoo. Hey. USB-C. So it can go into my... Um, Jesus Christ, iPad so that I can edit easier. So yay. I would've took you in there. I spaced it and then I tried to use my phone and my phone is full of storage, so. Storage is full, not full of storage. I'm gonna head to the coffee shop. I don't know which one I wanna go to yet. I don't know if I wanna go to Redleaf, if I want to go to um, just a Starbucks. I don't know of any other ones. I didn't Google any that have like, good wi-fi connection and stuff like that okay so i found a brand new coffee shop in town which is such a rarity that uh we have here in our little a little town of <laughs> nobody knows bill i'm kidding if you know you know anyway there's a new coffee shop and it's in my favorite restaurant which is so funny it's in the monticello hotel and the monticello also has one of my favorite places to eat um it is slightly overpriced for this town but it's pretty decent good food, but I think it's called Grant's at the Monticello. Either Grant's or... I was getting confused. But the coffee shop, I'm looking right now, looks just to be like a little cute coffee spot. I might sit outside. I'm not 100% sure, but I might do that. Um, it doesn't have a name though. It just says Monticello, Monticello Coffee house and it says unclaimed so i'm hoping that it's actually a coffee shop someone's walking with a boom box 
That's so cool. He's he's vibing in his life right now with his little speaker. And he's listening to country. Like you cannot get any, you know, vibe. Do what you need to. Anyway, I'm, I just don't know how to get there. Because I see it on the balcony. I wonder if I just go through the front door. Hey, you never know. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what it is. I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like once I get in. Hopefully, I'm wondering if that's the door right there. Oh, let's see. It is so freaking cute. That's depressing. Thought I was recording that whole time. Anyway, here's my review. I love the little place. It's so cute. It's like heating up. It's 1050. The patio was amazing. I love sitting outside and it is attached to the Monticello Hotel, which also homes my favorite restaurant. So it was nice to sit out on the patio, but it started heating up. I did get a iced Earl, excuse me, an iced Earl Grey latte which is called London Fog if you guys don't know it is Earl Grey tea your choice of milk and vanilla syrup so I did get that it's very nice stash is one of my favorite teas so I knew it was gonna be fine um what else the atmosphere in there is super super awesome super quiet which is really good they have Wi-Fi and also the barista is amazing he's very talkative he's you know social he's not like to himself because i used to be a barista so you get the mix of a lot of us but um it was nice had a couple laughs and that's always good when you can have like a natural conversation with somebody that's an atmosphere i like to stay at I like to be surrounded by those positive bubbly uh, people in my life but we were talking about the music that was playing because it was a country song and he goes yeah me and my girlfriend we were we were driving I was screaming this song and I started laughing so hard I was like I can just imagine that that moment in time where you're just in there screaming these girly ass country lyrics and it was just so funny I got some needed work done I got a podcast episode finally finished uh, I'm writing this season three I kind of freeballed it. I love how I say that. I freeballed it season two, but season three is gonna be a little different for me. I'm gonna structure it a little bit more. I have all of it outlined and, and stuff, all the episodes outlined, and they all have dates, release dates, so now I just gotta chip away at getting them done. I got my first one done, which is due tomorrow, so I'm treating it like a class, like a job, and um, that's just the way that I work the best. So, got some of that done. I started to figure out how to upload video to my iPad but it started heating up outside so like my attention span kind of went everywhere. We're heading home by the way. My boyfriend's sister dropped off her dog because she's doing some things at her house or her landlord's doing some things at her house that um, she needed the dog to you know hang out. So I was like that's fine Zeke needs a friend so I'm gonna go over there let Zeke out play with him for a little bit and then um, eat some lunch and then start editing the video on the iPad. Let's head home, make some lunch. I make snack plates for lunch. That's my new favorite freaking thing right now. It's like a plate with just tiny, tiny, tiny little things. It's like um, edamame, a little bit of wheat thins, hummus, a watermelon if I have any, which I think I have a little bit left. Any of that. So I just kind of literally make it like a charcuterie board for lunch of things, but no cheese. Uh, <laughs> no cheese, please. Some chips if I'm, I'm feeling a little barbecue chip moment. Sometimes I'll make like a wrap, but today I just don't want to. So we're gonna head home and I'll show you show you what I make. But I got bit on my leg by some mosquitoes yesterday when I was tanning and they itch. And I'm wearing like skin tight jeans and dull nails. So there's my life. All right, I'll see you in a sec. Wait for it. She's gonna pop in, right? Out. Hi Luna! Hi! Hello! Bubba, do you want to outline me? Okay, hold on. How do I make a snack plate? Baked barbecue chips. It's summertime, guys. Okay, if you want chips, at least try to get the healthier version. 3.5 grams of fat. Not mad about that. I make 
the steamer bag at Amame's. Well, you can see a little tail, you see it? <laughs> um, steamer bag at Amame for lunch almost every single day. This one has two grams of pot. Um, I actually have created, I know it's not going to look appetizing to you guys, but I created a new recipe for my recipe book I'm creating. <laughs> How funny is that? Um, and it is phenomenal. So I'll tell you. I'll tell you right here, right now. It's such a simple little lunch too. I highly recommend it if you guys are like working from home or, um, you know, trying to make a quick lunch. Just get little snacks. Make snack plates for pizza, guys. But anyway, so this is the wonderful mix that you're gonna like, what the hell. So it looks like this. It's actually really pretty. I use these almost like, almost said heirloom. Jesus, is it heirloom? Heirloom tomatoes? They're the mini cherry ones though. They just, I just call them that because they have all the different colors, the yellows, the reds, the red and the browns. And why you pop it? You should not be popping. Anyway, <laughs> I use um, almost a whole case of that. And, oh damn, okay. I use a whole case of that. And then I use a whole case, a whole case, a whole English cucumber. And what I do with it is I shred it. Now, I don't shred it as in like cheese grate it. I use a peeler. This is just what I had on like deck. So I don't have a mandolin right now. I do have a food processor, but I just didn't want to get all that dirty. So I took this and I peeled off the rind of it and then I used it to keep peeling it. So then I got these long strips of cucumber. So I did that and then I put olives, black olives. You can use whatever olives you want, but this is just my recipe that I'm creating. Black olives, cucumbers, tomatoes, okay? Now the kick here, is the first time I made it, I did it with olive oil. And I was like, oh yeah, that's a nice little dressing. But then I realized, okay, less fat, let's make this better. Oh, also, sorry. I also put roasted red bell pepper in there. So I have that. Um, but I was like, I wanna elevate this. How can I do that? And I had a leftover, a little bit of leftover seasoning from those ranch packs from Hidden Valley that you can make your own ranches with sour cream or like Greek yogurt and stuff like that. Because I was like, hmm, wonder if that would be good because I love ranch, but I don't want to put ranch on this. So I used the seasoning from the buttermilk one and I put it in there and I mixed it because it's already full of water, right? Because you got all that stuff. So I just mixed it around and let it marinate in there. And it's like a marinate, non-fat marinate. Like it is so simple, but so good. I know a lot of people don't like tomatoes or cucumbers or olives, but I like all three of those and it was something I had in my fridge that I was like, I need to use these up. So that's what I created. I was just like, hmm, I didn't look up a recipe to figure it out. I just was like, this seems pretty good. So that's what I did. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, okay. I wanna act up, look, it blew up. She's the weeks. And then I use the leftover watermelon. No one's ate this watermelon in my family. So I've been eating this whole freaking watermelon. I mean, you guys are tripping. Watermelon's the fucking best. Two grams. <sighs> it is what it is, but. Hummus is just a great thing to put on a snack plate. So, we're just gonna do that. I also make my own homemade pickles. Uh, my boyfriend's sister and his mom makes pickled asparagus and I've never had it before and it is phenomenal. It is so freaking good. Here is the masterpiece. Look how colorful my plate is. Watermelon, edamame. Oh, you can see it's edamame. <laughs> my little salad mix and some chips. Mmm, I'm so excited. This feels like summer to me. When you have this like array of amazing little foods mm. i'm going to chill out for a sec and watch some youtube just while i eat this food and then i'm gonna get back to work because i want to try and knock out a lot of stuff i changed out of my outfit and i said it's time to edit so uh, i've been editing for like the past 
I don't wanna talk about it. It's probably like an hour and a half. Um, I'm getting used to editing on my iPad. It is so much different than my desktop iMac. So, I am falling asleep, which means it is due time for the second Celsius of the day. Um, I also didn't finish the first Celsius I had, because uh, I went to the coffee shop and had a tea, but that tea was not strong enough in caffeine. So, I'm cutting out caffeine apparently. So I'm going to fill up this second Celsius. Right, second Celsius is my brand. 2 a.m. It's what I do at the current moment. It's the era. I can't ever say something is my brand unless it's like forever. You know what I mean? Because it's not going to be forever. I bet there's something else down the line I'll, I'll like. So oh, ice cold. Brings you chills, man. Brings you chills. Can you see that? <laughs> I think I have a caffeine problem. I mean, I might. But I need to step away from the screen for a second. Um, but it's almost fully edited, which is so funny, except for the clips that I'm filming currently right now. But I, I wanted to do it on my iPad today to see what kind of things I'm gonna need for the future. Like, should I get a mouse for it? Like, all of these things, just like a regular computer. And I might get a mouse for it, but I think it's doing fine. But the iMovie is a tad bit different, of course, on the iPad than it is on the desktop. You can't rotate an image in it, which sucks. So you have to do it prior to exporting it or importing it. That's fine, we're fine, everything's fine. Um. But it's about one o'clock. I'm gonna finish doing this. I'm gonna upload these clips over. And then um, pick up the house, because the house needs to be picked up. This is my getting my ship together, being more organized, showing up as myself era. And that's kind of what the series, I want this like new series on my YouTube channel to be, is kind of just showing up for myself, new era, you know, I don't know what it's gonna entail, but I can feel something great about it. So, we're gonna keep on keeping on.